Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number one. So let's find out what unexpected luck is in your future. And our first card is miracles with double rainbows. So that tells me a lot of abundance a lot of miracles, um, something you've been working towards, something you might not even be aware of. This is pretty open-ended, um, but as we get into the reading, we'll find out exactly. And also noticing whenever there's rainbows, it's usually right after rain. And you know, even though it might be dark outside, it's not quite this dark. So if you look back here, you can see there's starry skies and the double rainbows in the middle of the night. So I think that's probably why they drew it as a miracle. So expecting the unexpected, which again, I think that's like an oxymoron. How can you expect the unexpected? <laughs> but we're going to receive some guidance here so we can kind of figure out. Okay, and the next card heart of compassion number 51 and again look at all those rainbow colors so not the shape of a rainbow but almost every color of the rainbow is on this card um, there are many people around you around you who there are many people around now who benefit from your loving compassionate heart so you are a very generous and giving person you're helping others and this tells me that you're doing something that you love so maybe you're going to hone in and focus specifically on something maybe you're feeling a little all over the place or maybe you're exactly where you need to be so let's find out a little bit more and the next one is kindred souls you are currently experiencing many changes in your relationships and friendships. Okay, so this could be part of the miracle or the luck that's coming in. There's some people that you need to let go of. New people are coming in, so you might need to step back and figure out exactly how you need to divide your time. What is most important? What is most needed? Um, you might be some type of a healer. You might be a counselor, um, somebody that works with people that, I mean, for the heart of compassion to come up, that tells me you're very giving. And this goes beyond just charity. Like this is something that you do on a regular basis. This might even be your job. And <clears throat> empathic overload. It is time for you to truly honor your highly sensitive nature now, I love that this came out talking about here, Heart of Compassion. So again, as it said in the first card, you are someone who's very loving, very giving, but maybe you haven't been fully embracing your nature. Um, empathic overload. I'm not picking that up as overwhelming type of being bombarded with heavy energies. Not like that. This is about the blessing of really stepping into your power, learning how to hone your skills even more to help those around you, uh, an overload of joyous feelings, learning how to tap into your full potential and just going with that natural flow. So that is very beautiful. And let's see what your tarot cards say. <clears throat> okay, so the first, the first tarot we have, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth, the Knight of Pentacles. The upright positioning of this card is an indication of a need to be trustworthy and reliable. The daily grind of responsibilities might not be the most exciting, but if you put your head down and put in the work, you will reap great rewards. And I feel that's what the luck is, because here it's talking about, you know, heart of compassion, how there are many people uh, surrounding you that are benefiting from your love, your compassion, your abilities. And this is saying, you know, sometimes it might be a little bit difficult for you, but just stick with it. 
um, great rewards are about to come into your life. So down here, hard work, productivity, routine, responsibility, slow and steady, financial growth, achievement, good investment. So this work is really going to start paying off for you. Oh. And the next temperance, Jupiter, Sagittarius, and fire. Avoid extremes in any direction, taking the middle road in decision making. In all things, try to bring balance, go forward with patience, and test the waters before jumping into suddenly. Be sure to examine your priorities carefully. And I love, again, it's talking about priorities. And remember what I was saying, kindred souls? And this card where it's talking about, um, where it's talking about you're currently experiencing many changes in your relationships and your friendships. So examine your priorities carefully, taking the time. Who really needs your attention the most? Are there people that you need to let go of? And this is going to bring more balance, harmony. We have moderation, patience, being sensible, purpose finding, meaning. Wow, beautiful. I love these tarot cards. They're so magical for me. They always come out perfectly. And let's see the next tarot card. We have <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. And again, um, where is it over here? It's talking about doing the work, keeping your head down, and all of this abundance and payoff is coming in. And so Wheel of Fortune is confirming that. Jupiter, fire. You may be taking the good with the bad right now. And this is a cycle that you cannot control. Remember that no matter the outcome, the wheel always turns and nothing lasts forever. So good luck and karma, life cycles. And I feel, yes, that's part of the luck that's coming in because of how giving and supportive you've been. You're fulfilling your destiny, your path. You're doing the work. And over here where it's talking about empathic overload, you're going to be coming into more of who you are and learning how to wield those gifts, those energies. So destiny, turning point, change, inevitable fate, ups and downs, unpredictable. Wow, that is amazing. Like every, all three of these went exactly perfectly with the cards under. Okay, so let's see. I have three more messages and an activation. So the next message, feel. I enjoy doing the things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself. When I make sure I am taken care of, I can better show up for those in my life and for the work that I do. So again, art, uh, the art of compassion. And look how the colors are very similar on that bottom in this card. Purple, high consciousness. You're tapped into your divine purpose, which I can already see that through all six of those cards. And this one is telling you how you're coming into that even more. What a beautiful gift. And it's easier for you to do these things. It's not like a draining task or something that you have to motivate yourself for necessarily. I mean, sure, you might have some down days, but this is your passion. This is what you love. This is your purpose. And you're just really falling into this with such a beautiful flow. Okay. And the next message, self-appreciation. I will find a moment throughout the day that I can dedicate to myself. Find a comfortable space and bring a pen and paper. I will write down a letter of appreciation to myself where I will pour love into who I am and all that I do. So reminding you, yes, take time for yourself, which it says, you know, it's talking about that. But um, not to get too caught up, remember not to just go, 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 even though you're loving what you're doing, remember that you're also taking time to appreciate yourself. See yourself the way others are seeing you and appreciating you. And the next message, expansive. Every day I am learning new things and expanding into my highest potential which is perfect for empathic overload because that 
as I was saying earlier from the tarot and that message is saying how you're coming into your own the wheel of fortune everything is balancing and flowing in perfect alignment and harmony you're expanding you're learning more you've got the upper hand you're I don't want to say control but you you're just doing all the right things you're doing what you love it's all falling into place for you and the last card we have sacred geometry activation and also a little light language delight the frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness again confirming feel and the heart of compassion here um, supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness the more delight we feel the more delight we evoke in others so if you just saw my uh, Reiki video about Dolores Cannon's three waves of volunteers this very much sounds like volunteer number two so you might fall into that category or you might just be you know you could be something completely different but I just kind of get that energy feeling from this reading so let me hold this up for your activation and just right as I began to speak light language I saw on my camera that it was 12 12 for those of you that are in numbers so those are your messages for the week what a beautiful reading and good luck on your path not that you need it this is your unexpected luck coming in to balance highest blessings and infinite gratitude sat nam hello beautiful and magnificent beings welcome to your weekly oracle reading let's see what messages the universe has for pile two what unexpected luck is going to be coming in for you and the first card we have is stillness so this is the main blessing and it's just going to go grow from this i also felt guided to look up the spiritual meaning of swan um, let me check my notes here swan spiritual meaning it is feminine energy and represents beauty and grace vitality growth and joy and purity and also it's awakening the powerful self and spirituality very beautiful so all of this all of these meanings are part of what's going to be coming in for you there's going to be more stillness in your life and let's see what more information we can find out about this and the first card is soar and I love that soar came up because when we think of a bird flying we think you know look at that bird soaring so and also birds represent freedom so you are getting ready to fly high above all your obstacles and embrace life in the most magical way oh my god that's so beautiful and with all of that gold and orange I'm thinking there's also uh, some kind of healing and release going on in your solar plexus mostly and also a little bit in your sacral so wow that is incredible so get ready and bumpy ride look at that don't be afraid to make change to make a change regardless of how hard you perceive it to be it can be fun if you allow it and let go of the resistance to it so not all of you but some of you might resist or start to resist but it's not going to last um, sometimes we just fear the unknown but this is saying no it's time to soar it's time to move into stillness receive this blessing of all of this all of these new things that are coming into your life because here it's saying you know you're about to rise above your obstacles and embrace in a magical way so it's very difficult to even imagine what that is but it's a very wide open is what I'm feeling so as we move forward with the cards maybe it will reveal more 
So remember, it doesn't have to be a bumpy ride. That's just how you're perceiving it. See it as joy and fun. And again, it's not going to be difficult. There might be a little resistance in the beginning, but I'm feeling that, you know, the excitement is going to start taking hold when you start to see how you're rising up and letting go of these obstacles. It's going to become magical and so much fun that you're just going to soar. You're going to jump right into it and reach for the stars. You know, I just noticed all of these. Well, I think this deck in general might be all space, but notice also the stillness is nighttime. Okay, so reach for the stars. You have barely scratched the surface. You have unlimited potential and you are getting ready to experience this firsthand. So more magic. It's talking about magic and experiencing your true capabilities. You're really stepping into your life's purpose, your abilities. And let's see what the tarot will reveal. Okay, so our first tarot, we have Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire. Uh, you're struggling on your journey. You may have just reached an important milestone, which yes, because what this is saying about soaring uh, above your obstacles and into the magic. You may have just reached an important milestone, but naysayers are trying to knock you back and or causing you to prove yourself. Hold your ground no matter what because you know you've got this and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Challenge, competition, protection, perseverance, defense, man of maintaining control, holding your own, standing up for yourself. So remember over here when I said I was feeling like uh, solar plexus and sacral energy coming through, some type of healing? And you're gonna be aware of who these people are if somebody's trying to hold you back. Um, two messages are coming through. Deliberate, there are some people that just might be jealous or intimidated and they wanna hold you back and keep you to their level. But also there's some people that are doing this that even though it's not helpful to you, they, they mean it in a loving way. Like whatever this is you're about to jump off and do is, um, to some people it's like, oh my God, they're, they're people that are used to living in a certain routine. They're people who don't take chances. And to see you do this, they're worried. They're like, oh my gosh, maybe you're gonna give up. Like as an example, maybe you have this high paying, incredible job, but whether you like it or not, deep down you know it's not for you. So you've decided to give it up and completely start over from scratch and start a new business of some sort. And you know, family members would freak out. And again, they, they mean well, even though it doesn't help you. They're trying to hold you back because that's their way of loving and caring. They don't want you to move forward because they don't know what you know or see that. They just think that you know it's going to be a mistake where you see otherwise. So remember, standing your ground regardless, whether it's someone that loves you or someone that's not that excited, these people don't know what you know. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air, Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is often related to balance and relationships. You're having a hard time maintaining partnerships and you're getting caught in the middle of arguments. See this as a caution-like person in the card. She has a blindfold on holding swords. It reminds me of blind justice. Um, see this as a caution-like a person in the card. You may be choosing to keep the blindfold on. Avoiding issues won't make them go away. Okay, so yep, this goes very well with the last card, so be aware even if it's you know you don't want to deal with it it's someone you love you need to put your foot down and stand your grounds in order to be able to soar and the next tarot gemini libra aquarius air and it's exactly the same as the other one how funny king of swords the king of swords is showing 
that you are in command of the truth and you stand to present yourself with confidence again solar plexus coming up um, you stand with confidence and conviction again standing your ground others respect you and pay close attention to what you have to say the appearance of this card may also suggest that you may need a mentor perhaps a financial advisor or a lawyer okay so some of you actually I mean that was just a scenario but some of you actually might be leaving your job starting a new business so you will need some financial advice or maybe um, you know just a mentor in general to guide you as you move forward into this new area of your life uh, head over heart discipline truthful honest mental clarity authority leadership reliable sage advice again i think it was pile one i'm getting healing healer vibes and it might not necessarily be like you're a type of healer but it might not be seen as that like you might be offering some type of service that is very healing but people don't realize it like when you hear massage or reiki it's like okay that person is a healer healer healing but you might be starting or doing something that might not be seen as a healing art even though it is how interesting but you know sage again discipline you've got everything you need you're moving forward you're very excited about this so let me see what the next three cards we have <clears throat> intentions Today is a fresh start. No matter how my day was yesterday, I can make it. I can make of today whatever I want. My intention for the day is blank. Set your intention. Write your intention and tape this card behind your door so that you may remember as you leave your house. Yes, I love doing stuff like that too. Setting your setting the mind, setting it with the right intention as you leave or I even carry like these little cards I carry on me sometimes and the next message personal journey I follow what feels right to me without needing the validation from others again be careful where it's talking about you know don't let those people hold you back you don't need that validation and over here it's reassuring you you know you know you can do this and that you have everything you need just being aware as you take each step forward um, you you are without needing validation from others we are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's my enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough yes and you thrive on that okay and the next loving space I cannot learn from other people's lessons for them they must get there themselves at their own time I can simply hold loving space for them as they go through their own journey so yes holding space especially for those who might not share the same vision with you and want to you know keep you holds you back and the last card I have is a sacred geometry activation and a light language activation as well so Look at all that beautiful heart activation energy. Healing. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Beautiful. Hashana hanukotui haana ehene ekiate eshuhuuna ahaate e. So those are your messages for the week. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sat Nam. Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number three. What unexpected luck will be coming in for you? And our first card is flexibility becoming more flexible in who you are how you're living your life and I felt guided to look up the spirit 
meaning for tiger. So let me grab my notes. Um, tiger. Tiger represents vitality, physical and emotional strength, overall health, stamina, uh, ability to conquer dreams, appetite for life and new experiences, um, connecting with the inner warrior. Okay, so let's see what the next card is. Spiritual practice. Making time for your spiritual practice will assist you with clearing your mind and restoring your inner peace. Okay, so right off the bat, the flexibility is with your spiritual practice. Maybe there's something you've been wanting to do, you've been putting off, or maybe you have a spiritual practice, but you haven't been doing it as much as you would like. So more flexibility, more time is coming into your life that's gonna allow for more connection with spirit. And the next card, 57, and this is 52 over here, lightheartedness. It's time for you to let your inner child come out and play. Inner child, I love that. Okay, so you, by connecting more to the your spiritual practices, that's also gonna bring, um, I keep hearing the word playtime, playtime. So doing more of what you enjoy, all, you know, connecting with that inner child presence, but also not just about taking the time to do what you love, once in a while but i'm hearing and feeling this energy of this is going to become more of a way of life a way of living like every day you wake up you're just going to be excited like christmas morning you're tapping into that spiritual practice bringing you closer to the divine which automatically lights you up you're enjoying yourself you're enjoying life more your heart is open you're excited to be alive to be here and onward and upward. I let go of the past. Oh, I'm sorry. Let go of the past so you can be present and create the future you desire. And that's exactly what you do when you're in the childlike nature. nature. When you're doing what you love, you're connected to the inner presence. You're in that moment. And in the moment is when we really have that power to create what we desire. So um, letting anything go that has not been making you feel your best, anything or anyone that's been holding you back, or just, you know, maybe you've been dragging your feet a little bit, but the universe is, this is the unexpected luck that's coming in. It's time to start moving forward and doing more of what you love every day. And this is telling me that's, you know, in this order, that's what's happening as you're coming more into that spiritual practice, that connection with the divine, whatever that is, however you do that. And your tarot cards. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water, five of cups. You're suffering a big heartbreak, perhaps a divorce, breakup, abandonment, or a bereavement. You know, that's so strange. This card has come out almost every single time since I bought this. Uh, beginner's tarot it's really strange the other one no other cards come out as often as this so anyway sorry I digress um, with all the negative connotations this card can bring there is the positive message that no matter how dire your situation there's always a silver lining you just need to choose to see it yes yeah, so over here where it's talking about letting go moving forward moving onward and upward and here the spiritual practice that's going to help heal your heart whatever this is that you're sad about it's time to let this go and again when you tap into the present moment you know to put your hand on your heart that immediately lifts my spirits when i do that giving gratitude and you know remember there's always good in every situation regardless you know how how are you looking at it? It's time to change the way you're seeing things. Where are the lessons? What did you learn from this heartbreak? Whatever the situation was, there's always something to learn that will protect you from having that again. And let me see, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air. 
Eight of Swords, and eight is an abundance number. You previous, your previous thought patterns may no longer be of use to you. Open yourself to shift in thought because a change in perspective is exactly what you need under lightheartedness and play with your inner child. Um, sorry. Because of a change, open yourself to a shift in thought because a change in perspective may be exactly what you need. You may be labeling yourself the victim rather than feeling sorry for yourself. Take back your power and elevate the choice, elevate the choices you have. Trust your intuition. Oh my God. Negative thoughts, self-imposed restriction, imprisonment, victim, mentality, restriction, feeling isolated. You know, that's how we feel often. Um, we might not see ourselves as the victim, but we can fall into that so easily. And, you know, seeing these kind of situations is something that's helped me overcome being a victim uh, or thinking of myself as being victimized. So inner child, spiritual practice, moving onward and upward. The divine is saying, yes, it is time. You've got to let this go. It's time for better things. You've lingered in this energy long enough. And Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air. The upright, or I'm sorry, the upright Four of Swords is telling you to kick back and relax, whether you're emerging from battle or you've been putting in too many hours at work. You're overdoing it and need to take a breath. A period of rest will allow you to reemerge with renewed strength and focus. Rest, relaxation, meditation and spiritual practice, contemplation, recovery, recuperation, retreat, renewal, solitude, planning for the future. Oh my gosh. So yes, this is your unexpected luck. You're healing from this experience. You're um, letting all of that, oh, I don't want to use the word negative, I try to think in terms of what works, what doesn't work, what feels good, what doesn't feel good. The contrast. And you've been in this energy long enough. And again, each card is confirming. This is what happened. This is what you need to do. This is what you can do. This is the blessing. You know, you're becoming more flexible. You're learning how to bounce back. You're learning the lessons. You're trusting in your intuition and your guidance. So it's helping you through this a lot faster than it would have, you know, months or years ago. You've grown, you're learning. But again, no matter how advanced we are, sometimes we can still get stuck in that low vibrational energy. So this is just a reminder, you know, that's what you've been doing, but now it's time to get out of it. And recharge, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so three or four different cards now have literally told you recharge have some fun relax oh my gosh invite magic again that's twice that magic came up i invite magic into my life always remember that remember to invite the magic back every day i grow my connection to this earth i am i am ever feel if i'm ever feeling low i simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. So not only is it telling you that it's time to do these things, it's also giving advice on exactly what to do, how to do it, and what things will help you the, uh, the quickest. Magic. Pfft, magic again. And a little star wishing upon a star. Dreams coming true. Um, there's magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see the evidence of life synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. So, and I love this that came out over lightheartedness, where it was talking about play with your inner child, have more fun. Okay, and curious focus. Or wait, I'm sorry. Conscious focus. I, those little squiggly ends always look like R's to me. What I focus on, 
I attract more of, which may be why you'd been stuck in that energy. Um, starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see and see as more of these things begin to effort, effortlessly flow into my life. Yes, beautiful. Okay, and the last card I have for you is a sacred geometry activation and some light language activations. And look at that miracle, 3-3. Three, three. So there are two cards talking about uh, magic and two cards talking about miracles. And also I think pile number one, their main card was miracle. So if you felt drawn to pile one, there might be some messages for you there as well. The frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible because it is. You just needed to restore your, your faith, your uplifted energy, your um, faith in self I'm hearing because where you've been lingering in that low vi vibrational energy we tend to not feel fully supported or confident in who we are sometimes. So reminding you miracles are possible. Miracles are all around you every day. And the activation. So those are your messages for the week. Beautiful, all, all this amazing. Uh, this is the luck that you can expect to come in, this beautiful healing. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam, beautiful souls.